Good morning, everybody. Mr. Nolan back better than ever. Um, I feel like starting off with a joke because I thought of it yesterday and I'm like, wow, I'm a comedian. I should say this joke. All right. So, what do Kermit the Frog and money have in common? I'll give you all a second. All right, anyone? Again, what do Kermit the Frog and money have in common? Well, it's not easy being green. <laughs> uh, if y'all didn't understand me, I said it's not easy being green. Oh my God, I'm a comedian. Uh, I think I should stick with my day job and teaching. So here we go. Today we're going to be talking about homework 6.2B, which is a test review. You guys have a test tomorrow. It is over finding the part, the whole, or the percent. And then pre-AP, remember the second part of your test is percent of change. Now on this homework video, I am not solving any of the problems. I'm just going to set them up on some of them. And some of them I'm just going to let you solve on your own. This is some very good practice for you. Alright, so I'm going to start here in quadrant one. Brian's mustache is 20% longer than last week. Last week the mustache was <coughs> excuse me. Last week the mustache was 140 centimeters long. How much did the mustache grow this week? So we're solving for the part. So I'm going to set up my percent bar. So last week the length was 120 uh, 140 centimeters. That's the whole. That's how long it was. Now, I said earlier it gives me the pers uh, the part. I actually lied there. We're solving for the part. I'm sorry. We're solving for the part. It gives me the percent right there. Now, I'm going to give you a clue here. It gives you a scale factor. Okay? You have to solve number one before you can solve number two. All right. Here we go. Quadrant two. Yesterday, 45 out of 150 students did not turn in their homework. What percent of the students did not turn in their homework? Well, guess what? What information does it give you? If you read the problem, does it give you a percent anywhere? No, it doesn't give you a percent anywhere, so that's what you're solving for. It gives you the part, how many students didn't turn in their homework? 45. Well, how many total students does the teacher have? The total is 150. Alright, I set it up. You get to go solve it. If Megan's bass is set at 12 and Taylor's bass is set at 4, what percent of Megan's bass Megan's bass setting is Taylor's? Oof. That's a weird sounding problem, but here we go. Now, if you look closely enough at the problem, does it give you a percent? No. So guess what? You are solving for the percent. This is what we're solving for. Now, it gives you the part, and it also gives you the whole. The whole is Megan's bass which is 12. It also gives you the part, which is Taylor's bass. Well, again, it's set up. You get to go solve it. I'm not going to set up or solve this one at all. That's all on you guys. Now, really fast, if you notice, it says pre-AP homework. Guys, the regulars and pre-AP homework is exactly the same, front and back. The only difference is the pre-AP has these two extra questions on the bottom. All right. So finding the whole. I'm going to do these two right here. Just setting up. The original Xbox cost $300 in 2001. This is about 75% of the cost of an Xbox One. Using this information, what is the price of the Xbox One? Well, guys, it gives you some key information. First of all, 100% represents the whole. The whole would be the cost of the Xbox One. Do we know what it is? No. It says, what is the price of the Xbox One? So we're solving for the whole. 
it gives you a percent. What percent does it give you? It gives you 75%. And what value represents 75%? Well, the original cost was $300. I set it up, you go solve it. <clears throat> Excuse me. The cost of a half gallon of milk in Brazil is about 40% of the cost in America. If milk costs $1 for half a gallon in Brazil, what is the average cost in America? Ooh. So again, look at the information it gives you. It gives you a percent. What percent does it give you? Ooh. It gives you 40%. And that 40% represents how much? It represents $1. So I'm just going to put a 1 here. It says, what is the average cost of America? So that's what we're trying to figure out. What is the cost of the milk for America? Okay. So I've set up finding the part, finding the percent, finding the whole. Now these are mixed, so these are on your own. You got to figure this out on your own. So if you're in regulars, you you can now turn off this video. Pre-AP, I'm going to set up one of these and you're going to finish. Now remember when you are finding percent of change, you have to find the difference from the original to the new. And then you'll put the difference over the original amount. So I'm going to write this for both of them, just so you remember. Now remember on the percent of change test, you're going to have to tell me, is it an increase or a decrease? So let's see. A math book at Victor Valley College Bookstore originally cost $84. If they sell it for $126, what is the makeup rate? Well, original, new. So to go from the original to the new, did the price increase or decrease? Well, Mr. Nolan, the price went up, so that's an increase. Very good, guys. So right there on your test, you answered part of the question. Okay? I'm not going to do that for number 11. I'm going to let you figure that one out. Now we're going to have to find the difference. 126 minus 84. The difference is $42. And you have to put that over the original amount, which was 84. Now, this should be an easy problem. You notice you have a fraction. Top and bottom out. You go solve, you get your decimal. Your decimal two places to the right. All right, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me again. I hope this video helps you out. Now, remember, I'm going to keep my day job as a teacher. I'm not going to go be a comedian. Because let's be honest, that joke I started off with was pretty terrible. It's all right, though. It got at least a smile out of you. Maybe it made your day. That's all that matters. All right, guys. Study tonight, please. Study a little bit. Um, otherwise, I think you'll be fine for this test. All right, guys. Bye.